Factoring by grouping is another way that we could actually factor. Uh, it's not the same as factoring a quadratic equation. If you notice here, uh, the first equation is actually um, r to the third power, so it's a cubic equation. Now, a couple things that you have to worry about is basically the step-by-step -step process in which you want to do this. So we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process and then we will you'll have some time to work on these. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you put it into standard form. And standard form is going to be r cubed, r squared, r, and negative 8. Oh, there it is. Sorry. So we have 8r cubed minus 64r squared plus r minus 8. So the first thing, standard form. Part two is we need to make two groups of two terms. So most of the time when you are actually doing this, the problems are rigged a little bit to where if you just grouped these two terms together and made these two groups, you're probably going to be okay. Now, if it's a minus r, we'd actually put that into the second group as well, and I'll show you an example of that as well. Uh, now, the third part of this is to factor out a common factor of each group. And our goal is to have a common binomial, which is just A plus B. Remember that. We want to have a common binomial factor. So once we factor out the common factor, whatever's left over is what we want to have in one of them exactly the same as in the other one. So if I take a look at the 8r cubed minus 64r squared, and I say to myself, all right, what's the common factor between 8 and 64? 8, because 8 divides into 8 and 8 divides into 64. So I can take out an 8. Now, what's the common factor between r cubed and r squared? r squared. We're going to take out, remember, that that lower value of the power. So we got an r squared there. So 8 divided by 8 is 1. I have three r's. I took two of them away. How many r's are left? One. one. I get r minus 64 divided by 8. What's 64 divided by 8? 8. r squared divided by r squared is nothing. And that's going to be plus over here I have r minus 8 now, is there a common factor? No. There's a 1 and an 8. There's nothing there, the common factor. When there's no number or variable that's a common factor, bring out a 1. Since there's no, I'll, I'll say, non-1 common factor. Use the number 1. So I have 1 times r minus 8. Now, my big question to you at this point is, take a look at the two binomials. The two binomials that are here, the r minus 8 and the r minus 8, are they the same? Yeah. So these are a common binomial factor.
I'm going to step four is to factor out the binomial factor. So I'm going to take this and say, all right, r minus 8. And it's going to be multiplied by whatever's left. What's the first thing here? 8r squared. What's left from over here? Plus 1. And this is the factored version. Not that I know of. Factoring by grouping is all about making groups. <sighs> I know. Terrible. This is what you do. When you see the problem actually without the words and without the explanation, it'll seem a lot easier. Yes? Because it was a negative 64. Okay. So since I was subtracting the terms, I'm subtracting the terms in there as well. So that, that is an excellent question because you have to make sure that when you are subtracting and adding that you do things with... I did divide 64 by 8. And that got me my factor. So those are the steps. And... Yeah. What other eight? 